Hello everyone, my name is Dan and I'm bringing you something very exciting today, something different as well. I'm bringing you my version of the MW3 Tango Down multiplayer trailer. I hope you enjoy this video, I'll be stopping at certain points of the video, just briefly describing what we see in this trailer. So I hope you enjoy it, let's get going. Almost instantly at the start of the trailer we see Akimbo or Dual Wielders back in the game. A lot of fun to use, not very competitive, and good to see him back. The next thing in this trailer we see is a sort of a jammer device. You would have seen this in Black Ops. It's good to see that these devices are back, but not the best part of the trailer. Now, this is where the trailer starts to get interesting. What you see on your screen here is an escort airdrop. It is an 18 point streak and this is the highest point streak you will see on a support class. Pretty much what it is, it's a payload and an emergency airdrop put together. It drops 5 care packages while it, while it covers itself. I will definitely be using this kill streak. it looks amazing. The kill streaks on this game are looking amazing at the moment. Now, here we are. As you see, this is the escort airdrop. It looks absolutely huge. I can't wait to use this kill streak. 18 points, I think that's a perfect amount. I think this is going to be absolutely epic. Also, you might have noticed that you might have seen the scar. It's not the scar H anymore, it is coming back in MW3 as the scar L, an SMG version of the scar H. That looks absolutely cool, bringing that back in. Also, you might have noticed you might have saw the throwing knife is back. These little details that they're adding to MW3 is going to make this game so, so good. Now at this point of the trailer we see one of the most disliked guns in MW2. The UMP45 is making its return in MW3. Hopefully they've ramped down the damage and probably it's a bit less accurate. I hope this happens because this weapon was really annoying. Also we see that reticle sights are back. They look a bit more serious this time compared to Black Ops with the hearts and the smiley faces. They look that they're actually going to improve your improve your accuracy and actually help you out instead of be, being used for fun. Here we see the ballistic vest. I don't think this point streak will be taken very well. All you do with it, you throw it on the floor, your teammates pick it up, they put it on and it gives them a little bit extra health. A bit like painkiller I guess which wasn't taken too well but I don't think it will give them that much health because it's a very low point streak. I just want to quickly touch on this guys. As you'll know that quick scoping's back in MW3, we also see that the Barrett's back. And also you see on the top screen it says push right stick to zoom. This shows us that variable sight is coming into MW3 which was an idea taken from Black Ops. Now as we see as this guy picks up a lovely free piece almost getting the fourth, we see a new point streak. It looks like a controllable sentry gun, which you can use yourself. It looks pretty effective, it'll probably be quite a high kill streak though, but I think it'll be worth it, definitely. Now almost instantly after the sentry gun clip, we see there's a new attachment. We see this being used on the UMP45, and then we see that there's an ACOG scope, and just above it a red dot sight. This would be very useful for people who like to do have different sort of play styles. People who like to sit down and back, they can use the ACOG scope, and then switch to the red dot sight when they want to get up and into the fight. Before we talk about what we see here, a bit earlier on we saw there was another controllable kill streak. It looked like a drone that shot out missiles. I don't think this kill streak will be used regularly. I will compare it to the RCXD, very easy to get and very low damage. Now moving on. As you see, we see another point streak. This point streak looks like an anti-explosion device. It looks like it will be able to take out a certain amount of grenades, C4s and so forth. It will be very useful for capturing flags as this guy is doing in the trailer on the domination game. Also we can see on the top of the screen, it says advanced UAV. This sounds like it's going to be something like the Blackbird that we saw in Black Ops. But however, it is 11 point streak and in Black Ops, the Blackbird was an 8 kill streak. Inbound. 
As you just heard from the voiceover, this is a recon droid. It will be used to be able to tag enemy players to help out your teammates. I think it will be a very low point streak to get, as it looks like it will only be able to last only about a minute or so. As you see here, the SAM site makes a return in MW3. But in Black Ops they weren't taken very well, due to only shooting one rocket at a time. But in MW3, there's no messing around. Now coming to the end of the trailer, we probably have one of the most discussed point streaks yet, the Juggernaut point streak. It gives you 8 times your normal health, and also you're only able to wield either a right shield or a pistol. To be honest, I don't think they should even brought in this perk or even think about bringing in something like, like Painkiller really. We have to deal with Ballistic Vests and Juggernauts now, because if you think about it, all the CODs you play and you get killed by something ridiculous, now we have to face these two things. I think that they should just made it I completely scrap stuff like this. It's, this is the one thing that's going to annoy me about this game. So overall, this looks like a pretty good multiplayer trailer. I'm getting really excited for MW3. So coming at the end of the trailer, Infinity Ward always seemed to add a little surprise at the end. So let's see what we have on this trailer. Friendly AGM online. So there you have it, friendly AGM online. This looks like an AC-130. I think that Infinity War, what they've done, they've completely scrapped the idea of Chopper Gunner and made the AC-130 and probably added another point streak to fit that sort of level of points. I think this will be very good because I completely hated the Chopper Gun in, in MW2. I think it was completely overpowered. But anyway guys, thank you for watching. I've had to do this quite a long time now. I had to redo the whole video because my audio wasn't up to scratch in the other one. I'd love to thank TMM Gamer for um, advertising this video, and if you could go check him out, the uh, link will be in the description. Thank you, thank you very much, and if you did enjoy this video, please like it, it took me a very long time. So, thank you very much guys, see you later.